Today's adventure, we're in downtown Dalton, Georgia, standing right in front of the Bear and Ball Peacock, representing the financial district. But back in the day, they used to actually have 3D printouts over the back of the peacock of actual bears and bulls, but they kept falling off, so they had to do a repainting. I believe I've showcased this peacock numerous times on my channel in the past, but every time you see this peacock, we are here nearby the Dalton Brewing Company. And hello my friends, Mr. Nomad Ben here. This is not going to be a very long vlog about downtown Dalton, but there's a couple things I'm going to show off for this channel. But also the Dalton Brewing Company has also released their Oktoberfest, at least that's what I saw on Facebook. So I'm going to go ahead and check it out and see if there is any available left so we can enjoy a quick pint of beer. And I lost my Dalton Brewing hat, so I want to go and buy a new one. To replace my other one and I think I'm about changing from blue to red when it comes to this new hat I'm hoping I can find my other Dalton Brewing hat while we go ahead and grab a quick beer walk around for a minute and I got the big announcement I want to share with you guys and here we go tell us all about where you've been Nomad Ben tell us all about the finer points of living in your traveling Beer history, nature quest, every corner of the song to the great Midwest. Tell us all about where you've been, no man. And before you go inside the Dalton Brewing Company, there is a new restaurant opening right next door to it, the Dominican restaurant coming soon. De Lo Mio. And I believe this is the third attempt another business tried taking over this spot. And of course, every time I'm here, I have to document the big wall of beer. Always something to find interesting a beer history in this place. And we got the Oktoberfest weekend, yeah. You know, technically yesterday. Nice little Oktoberfest hat. All right, let's go see if there's any available. And here we are, my friends. Dalton, Georgia Brewing Company seasonal release, Oktoberfest. Cannot wait to have this. It's one of my favorites that they do here. Let's do this. Alrighty, friends, 2024's release of the Dalton Brewing Company's Oktoberfest. Cheers, my friends. On to the fall of 2024. Fall's my favorite time of year. That's uh, usually the best time when uh, some more content comes around. It is haunt season. Christmas is around the corner, of course. About a month and a half from now, I'll be 34. So one of the more greater ways to enjoy the fall. Cheers, my friends. Mm. Very, very delicious. Mm. I think it's probably better than Sam Adams release. It's just uh, perfectly flavored. Not too caramely. Very, uh... Just tastes like fall. It's you know, ready to kick off for the fall of 2024. Very delicious. And friends, I got my hat. And it, instead of white, it's actually a black back. And of course, red, a little in the gray gears. And the lettering is black. It's a little different than the one I had of the blue. Um, all blue. This would be all blue and this would be all white. But yeah, it's something different. And it also, it matches Georgia Bulldog colors. So, so on to a new era for my channel with my new hat. So hopefully this could go along, but I hope I find my other hat uh, someday soon, but just so I can represent Dalton everywhere I go when it comes to my channel. So nothing like the Dalton Brewing Company wearing a new hat in the beer. Of course, support the Georgia Bulldogs. Cheers, friends. What a very satisfying beverage. Just one and done today. Hopefully have a few more of these throughout the fall, but just a very delicious beer. Love we'll to pair it up with a brat or hot dog with this sometime this year, but man, delicious. Come on by the Dalton Brewing Company, right off of King Street in downtown Dalton, Georgia. All right, why don't we go for a little walk? So I've never noticed this store before, established in 2023, Kick and Clips. And it looks like it has a whole bunch of soccer jerseys inside here. And Dalton is definitely not only a carpet capital, but a lot of talented soccer people are rising in our town of Dalton. And the semi-pro league associated with Chattanooga Red Wolves is also in Dalton too. So, and of course I've been to a United game, but and a Chattanooga FC game, but not a Red Wolves game. But still, I do admire the sport of soccer. 
definitely fun to go to. And here's the back side of the Nutcracker Peacock, because Christmas is right around the corner, even though it's September, but time goes by so fast. It's always good to see the Peacock to represent the Nutcracker. They do their annual shows all the time. And here at St. Ives Realty, check this out. Outdoor touch screen, I'm sure I showed this off before. So there's something open right now. You can buy this home for $529,900. You can go to sales and rentals and area in town. It's so cool that you could be able to do this. Maybe we'll try to find something in Chatsworth. Property type, commercial sale, meet the team. All these people that work here. That's really cool to have that option. And here at Jack's Pawn and Gun Shop, we got their fall display up already with the Yeti coolers and the scarecrows. It looks like that squirrel over there is storing his nuts for the winter. I wonder if they're pumpkin spice nuts. Of course, many a Mickey. And then we got the Scarecrow Band. And it looks like this little squirrel is enjoying the band. And walking by Just Peachy Boutique. This is owned and operated by my friend Allie. You get clothing and jewelry and fun little things in this store. I actually got my wife a little gift here, a handmade Georgia Bulldog, I believe it was a headband. I want to check out her store, it's worth checking out, it's a nice little establishment for our town of Dalton. And of course if you want to feel a little classy, you want to get a good drink, go to the Gallant Goat. I haven't documented it inside yet for you guys, but I can tell you that there are a lot of good selections of fancy drinks in there. I had a Banana Foster's beverage in there. And I gotta tell you, it was very delicious. Definitely worth checking out, and the little food that they have there is pretty good too. And here's the Army Surplus Store. I think it took over, I believe either the Boy Scout building or the Vape building, because I remember the very skinny Santa Claus. Looks like they got a whole bunch of cool stuff set up here. Some old timey grenades and old bazookas. Of course, you got some retro looking badges to put on your coats, like Letterman jackets or your uniforms. Definitely it might be something to check out for a future vlog at the Army Surplus Store. And of course, here's Bear Park. And right now, it's not operational. A little frisbee golf on the side here. But September 20th is the last day of the summer music series. I believe her name is Connie Barrington Country Band. You might be able to catch her gig right here in town to conclude summer and kick off the official date of the fall. Even though past few days it's been feeling like fall. It's been feeling great around here in Georgia. But of course you want to keep an eye out for our town's website. Not just Bear Park but all over Hamilton. And beyond on Crawford, events could always happen around here. Right over here is the sides of the historic depot, which used to be a booming restaurant back in the day. And I had the experience when I first moved down here before it closed. From what I've been told from the public, it's going to become future office spaces. If that's the truth, I was just hoping they would restored to its glory for maybe like a fun little venue center or a, a maybe just a rebranding of the restaurant with a new look but whoever owns and operates this building now I hope they put some good use to the depot and it would be cool to find a way to keep its legacy alive but they're definitely doing some work at this place and not terribly far away from the depot, right off of Hamilton Street, is none other than Juan's Wieners. I'm filming this portion of the vlog on Sunday, so it's not open right now, but the restaurant itself is open. 
And I gotta tell you, it's a very, very awesome craft hot dog joint. And if you guys could see through the window of all kinds of stuff that they offer. And I was actually here for lunch not too long ago. I had the Cubby, which is their version of Chicago style hot dog. And they have a little bit of a different twist than um, normal Chicago style hot dogs. That you put mayonnaise on it, but they have other things too that kind of make it original, but it is delicious. I was enjoying that for lunch not too long ago. But I gotta tell you, it's worth checking out. It might be a little pricey, but it is worth the price that it's set up for. So definitely a great place to go and check out. I wanted to document this place when I stopped here for lunch, but I actually came here for lunch uh, while working. So, but we will come back and document the experience inside Juan's Wieners because sometime at the end of September or early October for my fall content, I really want to do like a hot dog battle kind of ordeal. Because of course you got Juan's Wieners here in downtown Dalton. And then there's gonna be a new hot dog joint opening up very soon. It's called the Shaky Mud. It's not only craft hot dogs, but they also got uh, craft shakes as well coming about. So a little hot dog and a milkshake place in downtown Chatsworth. And of course, the Cajada is their general store. Other than pizza, they got hot dogs as well. So I want to see which small town joint has the better hot dog. So my friends, we're concluding the vlog, but we have to conclude it in Cleveland, Tennessee. And that's where I'm going to tell you guys my special announcement. So let's hop on Cleveland Highway and let's go. And here we are, friends. We're here in Cleveland, Tennessee. Right over here is Highway 74. And right over there would be South 60, You're heading your way into Dalton, Georgia, and of course into Kohada and Varnell, that direction. So just basically right off of 60 and 74, you'll make your way over here to Blasted Machines Tech Shop and buy, sell, trade all video games and all that good stuff here. And there's a reason why we are here, and that's where I want to make my special announcement. And my friends, the reason why we're in front of the Blast Machines Tech Shop here in Cleveland, Tennessee. This is the entrance to the store. This is a little mom and pop gaming shop here in Cleveland, Tennessee. I want to go back away from this door because there's probably going to become some customers coming in and out. And they close at 6 as I'm filming on a Sunday and about to close momentarily. So, my friend Chet Guthrie, the dream poet, who's another local YouTuber, and most of his uh, content is here in Cleveland. And those who follow my channel religiously or just that are loyal viewer, uh, he's actually been on my show a few times. Um, so because we've teamed up in the past and uh, we've been busy this particular year, but um, hopefully we'll have something in uh, the fall for us to team up. But Chet is hosting an event uh, right here at this game shop on October 19th from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. His friend owns and operates this place. So a great opportunity for you to come by and check out this particular uh, shop. But another thing that's happening here at the store on that particular day, October 19th, from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., you'll get a chance to meet Chet Guthrie, the dream poet. And not just that, you have an opportunity to meet me, Mr. Nomad Ben, here at the shop as well from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. on October 19th, 2024. Great opportunity to come by and uh, shake hands with me, take a selfie with me, and I might have some t-shirts available for purchase, but if they end up being a hit, I might uh, as well uh, take names down whoever might be interested in buying a t-shirt off of me. So. Just an opportunity to uh, get to know you, my subscribers, my viewers, or any way possible you've enjoyed my channel here at the Blast and Machines Tech Shop, October 19th, 2024, from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. You have a chance to meet Check Got Three, the Dream Poet, myself, Mr. Nomad Ben, and also another YouTuber friend of ours, Andy from Andy's Journeys, is also going to join us for this particular meetup for a little period of time. Great chance to check out the store and also get to know us as your local YouTubers in the Northwest Georgia, Southeast Tennessee, and Chattanooga, Tennessee area. This will be a great opportunity for uh, for you guys to meet us. It will be a real great time. So tune in next week, my friends. We're going to come back to Cleveland, Tennessee. We'll definitely check out the shop. But also, I want to make my way to the Five Points Museum. So future Cleveland adventures for probably the remainder of September and entering October. And of course, that hot dog vlog coming about. And maybe something spooky along the way. And of course, we'll make our way into Christmas. So 
A lot of good ideas, a lot of fun content I have for the fall of 2024. Whatever I could do to fit in some stuff going on for this particular year. Of course, like I said, my year has been a little different than most for my channel. So my friends, I'll see you guys next week for our Cleveland adventure. Or if not, maybe something. But I'm planning on coming back for Cleveland on my next adventure. And I want to thank you guys for being part of this journey. So friends, I'll see you guys and the next adventure will make it to Cleveland and beyond into 2020, first of 2024. I'm super excited. Come and meet me, Check Got Through the Dream Poet, and Andy from Andy's Journeys. October 19th, 2024 at Blasted Machines Tech Shop from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. I'll see you guys later. And as I always say, my friends, eat well and keep your mind walking. And please let me know what you guys think of my new hat. I'll see you guys next week. I'm very excited for this meetup.